welcome to a review of a game that made me do this. Maybe if you are an actual marine biologist, I can climb these goddamn ladders! Octodad Dadly is catch. First, a bit of backstory. In 2010, a group of 18 students at DePaul University created the first Octodad, a third-person puzzle action game with hilarious plot and lots of fun. It also had very addicting gameplay and was very well received. In 2011, they got back together and formed Young Horses Incorporated and began work on a sequel. So in Octodad Dadly is Catch, you play as Octodad, of course, an octopus disguised as a human male with a family to boot. The game is centered around blending in with the humans while tackling the obvious challenges that come with being an octopus. These can range from cooking burgers for your family, to going shopping, to climbing an obstacle course in an aquarium? Yeah, did I mention this game's a little bit weird? Performing these tasks include a fantastic physics engine that'll crack you up at just how ridiculous Octodad's movement can be. Speaking of control, Octodad controls pretty well, except for the occasional tight space that you have to climb into. This can lead to some very, very frustrating moments that kind of sour the entire experience, even though they're very few and far in between. One part of the game that I had a lot of trouble with was actually the rafters towards the end of the game. I was absolutely livid with all the deaths I suffered. The graphical style is pretty awesome. It has a very cartoony feel, and the clever writing reflects this quite well. The characters will often spout amusing lines when you are performing a task, and this can make the more troublesome moments of the game, and frustrating moments, much less so. Each voice actor did a great job, especially Octodad's voice actor, who gave us such inspiring quotes as... <laughs> that one makes me tear up. The main antagonist is a chef that wants to turn Octodad into sushi and reveal to everybody that he's an octopus. He is pretty one-dimensional, but I mean, it's a game where you play as an octopus trying to blend in with humans. I didn't expect much from the story, but for what it's worth, the ending was pretty touching. The only collectible in the game are various ties that are scattered around the world that you can equip to Octodad to give him your own personal flair. These don't affect gameplay in any way, and honestly, they're kind of pointless, but they are a fun little thing to try to get. This game also has a co-op feature, which isn't half bad. One player controls Octodad's movement and legs, and the other controls his uh, ability to pick up objects and throw them around. In other words, you know, his arms. One thing that really rubbed me the wrong way about this game was the length of the adventure. It consisted of only five levels, or about two hours of gameplay overall. I get that it's an indie game and that these five levels are really polished for being such, but I really would have liked to seen a few more. So all things considered, Octodad Deadly Sketch is probably my favorite game of the year so far, which isn't saying much because it's only February, but for what it's worth it is. Uh, it's a great heap of fun that I wholeheartedly recommend. I give Octodad Deadly Sketch an 8 out of 10. So thank you guys very much for watching my first review, um, I'll be doing one for pretty much every Let's Play I do, hopefully. Um, I know I'm not the best at doing reviews because obviously this is my first attempt at anything like a review, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, if you did hit that like button, leave a comment, let me know how to improve, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye!